Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I created a half cut crease look. So if you would like to see, then please keep watching. I'm starting off this look by patting the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on my lid as a base. Today I'm using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. First I set my brow bone using the shade Tempera and I'm using the Makeup Shack T53 brush. Now I'm packing the shadow Burnt Orange in the crease with a fluffy compact brush. I go back in with the shade about three times to get the full color payoff that I want. I'm now going in with a smaller brush and the shade Raw Sienna above where I place burnt orange in the crease. I like to blend in circular motions and from left to right so that there's no harsh lines. If you ever blend too high up, you can go back in with the brow bone highlight shade that you used. I'm now going in with the shade Love Letter and I'm just packing it in my crease lower than where I placed Burnt Orange. I just like to pack on color and then blend it out with the shade that I placed before it. You really want to take your time when blending so that you can get that gradient effect. Now I'll be cutting my crease and I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'll be using the Makeup Shack T86 brush to cut my crease today. This is one of Rocio, the Cut Crease Queen's favorite brushes to cut her crease with. Be sure to use code Rocio to save money off the Makeup Shack products. I like to use a little bit of concealer at a time and start at the inner corner of my eye working the way towards the center of my crease. I don't like using too much concealer when cutting the crease because I find that it causes whichever eyeshadow I place on top to crease throughout the day. I'm now just patting out the edge of the cut crease with my ring finger. To set where I cut my crease, I'll be using the shade Vermeer on the Makeup Shack T58 brush. I'm now just cleaning up the edge of my cut crease using more of the shade Love Letter on a Wet n Wild angled brush. And now I'm blending that out with a tiny fluffy blending brush. To blend out the edges of the cut crease some more, I'm using a fluffy blending brush and more of the shade Burnt Orange. I'm now just patting over that with Morphe Mirror on the T58 Makeup Shack brush. To add more depth to the outer V area on my eyelid, I'll take more Love Letter and blend it into the burnt orange shade. You want to just keep packing on color and blend it in with the lighter shade that you added before. I went back over my lid with a little bit more of the shade Vermeer. And now I'm just blending a little bit more before I clean up the edge of my shadow with the makeup wipe. For liner today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. Today I used the Large Lash Mascara from Pixie Beauty. I added falsies off camera. I used the Ardell Demi Wispies. For foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. Blending out my foundation with the flat Kabuki brush from the Equate brand at Walmart. I found out about this brush through Juicy Jazz here on YouTube. It has become one of my favorite brushes to blend out my foundation. I like to go in with the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge to blend even more. I like to use a small brush to apply foundation between and around my brows. I 
Using the same brush I used to apply foundation around my brows, I'm just cleaning up the edge of my shadow even more. For concealer, I'm using the same Maybelline Fit Me concealer underneath my eyes and I'm applying it with a brush from the brand Do Care that you can find on Amazon. To blend out my concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and I'm using a brush to blend the concealer on the inner corners of my eyes. Today I'm setting my whole face with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. I won't be baking today, I'm just setting my whole face. I really love how this powder sets my face and makes it look airbrushed. I'm now going to spray my face with the Pixi Rose Glow Mist to get rid of any powdery look on my face. I'm using my favorite bronzer today, which is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. I'm adding bronzer to my cheeks and forehead to bring some more warmth back to my face. I'm using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I'm cleaning up my bronzer before going in with the BH Cosmetics 10 Color Blush Palette. To apply my blush today, I'm using my e.l.f. blending brush. I'm now lining my lips with the ColourPop X I Love Sara E Lippy Pencil in the shade 951. I'm using my favorite nude lipstick today from L'Oreal Paris in the shade Fairest Nude. To complete this look, I'm setting my face with the Pixi Rose Glow Mist. And this is the final look. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!